Hello and welcome back to game number three between Stark and MBL. As expected, it is a Kel's War. Stark playing in green, MBL in purple, and MBL currently two games in the lead in this best of seven. Uh, sorry about that. Not sure what they're talking about. Doesn't really matter. Mm, I was in Grand Canaria uh, for the last week, actually the last seven, eight days. A very awesome uh, vacation there. Very nice weather and all. Uh, I was able to like uh, publish some videos on YouTube. So I hope you weren't bored. Now I'm back to casting. I hope you can cast a lot of games. And uh, I'm starting with Master of Rain Arena games now again. I, <laughs> yeah, I hope Master Arena is going to start in like October, uh, September, October, I don't know. And I definitely want to finish the series, so I'm going to cast a few of those games now. Maybe not all today, probably just one now. But uh, I'm going to cast a few more in the next couple of days, I guess. Um, Kelsworth, nothing special here. Let's check the maps and we see MBL with 4 deer. I think I can go faster, 4 deer and 2 boar inside the space, mainstone on the side, no back base. That means the main gold is a relatively nice position, considering that. Mm, second stone outside, second and third gold on the left hand side. Not too good, not too bad. One really close to his base, um, has to uh, get this, sh this sheep. Um, otherwise, there was some extra berries on the right hand side, and extra gold here, as well as another relic. And do we have one more? Yeah, there is one more. Uh, two more, actually. So that's one, two, three, four relics around MBL space. Of course, Stark, not too far uh, away from. Uh, from MBL and can go for the relics if he wants to have extra stone here and uh, that's for MBL's map I think. Let's go for Stark Space. And one boar inside, other boar is already on the, the TC. Two deer inside, one deer outside. Should be able to get at least a two here. Main gold forward for him, not too nice. One relic close to his base. I think we've seen all five relics now. Uh, the berries, some blocking the, the lumber line here. Not too good, but it's alright I guess. Main stone safe in the back, that's nice for the Kels. Second gold and third gold in the back as well as the second stone. So, uh, except for the main gold, Stark's map is really, really good actually. And he could just boom, uh, maybe go for a few scouts and, and Castle Edge get a few, like two, three relics and then uh, boom this game up. Not sure what he's going to do. And turn them, uh, I guess they had some lag or something like that. But uh, should be fine. Uh, not for us, of course. Um, this game's going really slow right now. I don't like this. I'm not sure why. Um, because Kelsmoor, we know how it's going to go. And this game going so slow. That's really boring for me. Now let's go a little bit into the, the build order maybe and let's uh, look at the difference. Four villages on plus four on wood right now. Got three farms up. So standard six now. It's seven villages on sheep right now. So get more gold and ends in the first villager. And that's. Uh, 24 uh, of the gold. Getting the first deer almost under the TC, but it went away. Not the perfect lure here, but it's alright. And, uh, ooh, is this house blocking the burst? This is really not good. Yeah, Stark has to uh, micro his eco a little bit here. Mm, going for barracks now in both players, upping the feudal age. Stark a little bit behind on the same villager number, and he did not do loom, so MB a little bit better here. Now two villagers starting to mine the gold. That's uh, alright, of course. Can Stark see all the resources? Yes, it's looking good. He knows where MBL is, so he's done everything right as far as I can see, or most of the things. And MBL, I think he should be able to see everything this, uh, of his interest. He cannot see his third gold, I guess, which is right here. Can you see the tile? No, not happening. And uh, we do see MBL with the blacks at the market. I'm not going for barracks. Interesting strategy, not going for the map control. Wonder if he's going for the relics. But Stark right now cannot see too many of the relics, I guess there's one. He missed those two here. That's a little bad luck. Of course, he was uh, scouting the wall here. Uh, not interested. I guess they were about to fight. Oh, and MBL is in. Uh, not sure if that's the right decision here. MBL is going to lose the scout eventually. Sending a villager will be enough to kill the scout. There we go. And bye bye scout for MBL. But you won't really care, I guess. I think defensive stage workshop may be monastery up early. And then two TCs, late three TCs. Uh, so yeah, a total of four is possible. We have 12 villages on wood right now for MBL. That's three on goal. That's eight farms up already. Very nice. And four on the berries. I guess one of those is going to build a siege workshop or monastery or maybe two. And uh, MBL, of course, the one who's going up faster. Um, the same villager number as we said before. So Stark lost a lot of time. And those three villages are going to build a TC here on the main gold. And MBL got enough for another TC. Not going for a siege workshop. Not 
going for the early monastery, so he knows if Stark is going aggressive, he will have a minute or two. And we do see monastery come up for Stark. I think he's got at least two scouts out now. Uh, that's two military units. Yes, and a forward siege workshop. Look at this. Stark is going aggressive. No need for that, actually. Uh, I didn't want units by. Um, but he's still doing it. I'm not sure why. Maybe he wants to knows that MBL has a better boom, that's possible, and uh, thinks, yeah, if I'm going aggressive, I have a chance here. But uh, I think MBL knows how to defend, uh, like, a siege monk attack here with the Kels. He will go for siege workshop himself. As far as I remember, Kels don't get the redemption, so it will be hard, to, uh, except for fight Manganels 1v1, try to get a better trade-off. Some villagers on gold for Stark. He's going for a second TC on the wood line and, and stone. That's very nice to see. And I'm assuming, yeah, first Manganels out already, uh, as well as the two scouts, of course. MBL got the siege workshop up as expected and not going for a monastery. He doesn't care about the relics apparently. It's just gonna defend here. First Manganel on the way. Stark is going back and not sure what can Stark see. He can see everything now. He can see the relics. He can see the stone on the right hand side. He can see, you know, he cannot see the main gold. This is bad for him. Doesn't know that MBL got a TC here. Stark doing Lumen Town Watch now. And MBL, oh, even Outpost coming up, I guess. Yes. Uh, 31 stone. Is he on stone now? He's got villagers there in a TC. Two TCs, uh, three TCs up and running now uh, on the gold and woodline. Very nice TC position as well. And MBL is waiting with his own Manganel to see if we're start going to attack again. At the same time, he is just booming up. Fourth TC is up on the woodline. Uh, not direct on the woodline, actually. He wants to fit a few farms around, I guess. And he's going to cut through those. Uh, uh, the spare tiles uh, very fast here. Also going for stone, wants to get a castle up probably. And uh, yeah, villagers 8 and, and 8 villagers in gold. Uh, looking good for a boom as well as getting some manganels out. And there is the second manganel actually for MBL. And you can see the two scouts. Uh, there is a monastery, uh, the monk for, for Stark. Of course, we saw the monastery before. And Stark is actually going for the relics. Uh, let's see how much he got already. He's got one monk here. So he's got one, two, three, as far as I can see. Oh, and Stark walling the goal of MBL. Look at this. This is looking really funny. But Stark still doesn't do the TC. I'm not sure if he can actually see the farm. Maybe he can. But he's not attacking. At the same time, he is uh, fully walling the outside goals of MBL. Interesting strategy. Stark knows MBL got a main goal. But he knows there is not too much more gold. And MBL is going out villages to get a castle there. Um, protect the, the, that little style where Stark attacked before. He can already see. Oh, and he's, Stark is going to run to the Manganel shot. This was not good. Perfect for MBL. He's very happy about this, I guess. <laughs> Stark saying shit. Losing the only Manganel he had. It was like a fake forward attack, I guess. Now getting another Manganel out. But uh, still doing uh, the laming here. Interesting to see. I think MBL won't really care. Get a castle up now and he is good looking good to go into imperial age 40 24 minutes he's guess he's gonna click up like 25 minutes in with a castle up maybe even earlier and ram is out there manganel um, still there of course and stark at the same time 15 villager difference this is huge he's got four tcs up and running but this little like fake forward really cost him a lot and uh, while he has the relics now, I think, yeah, all five relics in Stark's base. He's only got one Manganel, he doesn't have castle up. Uh, got a lot of gold, but not enough uh, food to click up to Imperial Age. And MBL even clicking up before 25 minutes. Uh, looking good for him. Just a solid boom, I would say. Uh, nothing special, but uh, expected from these players. A little bit of Manganel fight in Stark. Losing the one Manganel against the one from MBL. That's 2-1 for MBL right now. And uh, of course, doing Vote Raiders, of course, he is uh, gonna go out and take those scouts down, probably the Siege Workshop, or maybe go for the monks. Let's see, and that's going a bit faster than slower again. Not sure what this record's about. Uh, Vote Raider against Scout, we know this is going to end without any upgrades. And uh, I think Stark is gonna get a few of those votes. He should have one, not a second Vote Raider, but MBL is gonna send more and more scale mill armor coming in, second castle coming in. Nice farming simulator here already. And uh, Stark at the same time can't click up to Imperial Age if he wants to. He's got the two buildings. He's getting university up as well. Not sure, but he's, yeah, clicked up right now. But doesn't have a castle up as far as I know, or does he? No, no castle up. We have three villages on the main stone, few villages, a lot of villages on the second stone actually. But uh, a little bit too late in my opinion. Fortified wall coming in for Stark. This is interesting. So he knows. 
Uh, MBL will be faster. Uh, double uh, walling that extra gold here on the right hand side. Actually, there is, a nice, there is another extra gold here, which I didn't point out, but doesn't really matter, I guess. And MBL is going to go through those walls and take the second gold as soon as he uh, uh, feels that's necessary. And for now, MBL being up to Imperial Age uh, is doing trebuchets and wood reproduction plus two defense right now. Yes, plus four coming in already. And Forward Castle is gonna go through those walls because it's not gonna take too long. And let me see if we can go. And it's really not going faster here. And Stark got another Manganel inside, I guess, but uh, nothing more is gonna go for that ram, maybe. Uh, castle only 8 range, not gonna hit that Manganel. A ram will go down, but MBL won't really mind because he will be able to take the, the gold from Stark here actually. And of course he can see the main gold, MBL can also see that there is no castle around. He's gonna go for the monastery, going for the monastery first, very smart play. Using the road redders to attack the vault, which isn't really uh, what you want to do, but better than doing nothing. Actually there's castle now up for Stark and he is up to Imperial Age, doing conscription first. Not sure why, he's got so many resources, he should buy 200 stone, get a second castle up, start water protection and maybe do a manganel or two just to defend for the, for the time being but, and of course get the relics in, but there's so many things to do at the same time and Stark, I'm not sure, doing uh, the conscription upgrade, no elite water coming in yet, he's got 1600 food, 1500 gold, but um, he, not a smooth transition into Imperial Age, I feel. He uh, was like caught up here, I guess, uh, too busy trying to take down this uh, ram, and there's a second ram already going for the walls. Now uh, quickly walling everything he has here, but he's walling out the, the relics, so no more gold from, from those. Of course taking the second and third gold, uh, while uh, the main gold is now uh, in MBL sense, more or less, and MBL doing the outpost rush again, <laughs> look at this, it's just ridiculous, but MBL saying, yeah, I'm too far ahead, it's uh, 800 points uh, score difference, and... Uh, um, but only one cast lap, yeah, this monastery may go down, but MBL, of course, elite vote redders, plus four defense, plus one attack already there, he's gonna go for plus two as soon as he can. And Stark still sitting on 16, 1500 food, 1700 gold, doing nothing with it. I'm not sure what this is about, maybe Stark gave up already? Mm, took down the monastery, but who cares, and now there's two trebuchets starting to hit the castle probably. I guess he's not even going for the, for the traps, but straight for the castle, get that down. Mm, take down every building he can while he's there, and vote redders, yeah, there's so many of them won't really care losing one or two and Stark still getting all the resources he can. Uh, now getting another castle up, uh, double castle here in the back, actually it's a smart thing to do, but uh, it's not gonna help him too much, and I'm not sure what this palisade is about. Uh, blocking the stone here, maybe it wasn't for a good uh, cause before, but now it's just on the way. And three trebuchets there, outpost going down. I'm not sure if Stark actually wanted to hit that outpost or if he just misclicked and wanted to hit the traps actually. I think he's going for the traps here. But this castle is going to go down for sure. Elite water on the way for Stark now in... Or was not a way, I guess he did it already. Uh, usually the research bar is a little bit behind. But this castle is going down, Stark is left with two castles. Only now starting to need voter the protection. Plus four, plus two actually. Same upgrades now for both players. But military numbers 59 for MBL, who is on 168 population. Not fully boomed, but 109, which just should be enough for him right now. And only six military units for Stark. We know how this is going to end. This is looking terrible. A lot of villagers going away from the farms, trying to cut uh, the wood with one lumber camp only. Mm, should send them to the back here, but the entrance pretty much blocked here as well, so it's a lot of idle time here. 17 idle just for Stark, and still no, only 10 military units. This is a matter of time, and I think MBL is pretty sure they won this game. Blast Forest is now coming in, another monastery to get the relics, and Stark still collecting all the resources he can get, while MBL sitting on a lot of resources, needs a few more houses maybe, but won't really care for those, and Stark got a hero villager here who could go for like a rescue forward something, but MBL is now going in, those two trebuchets not being packed, they're gonna go down very very fast, and MBL is just gonna run over Stark's base. Mm, having three traps still firing at what they can find, TC is going on, there's even a manganel there. Uh, does MBL have a siege workshop forward? Not yet. Gold Shift Mining Blast Furnace is still coming in, I guess it's done already. Yep, yeah. no, not yet. Um, waiting a little bit longer. But taking down a lot of villages now, 112 villages, and still fighting a lot of elite road raiders here. Ah, nice raiding on the, on the bottom side here. 
Mm, taking down this TC very soon, I guess. Taking on a lot of villagers while there's 15 in the TC. And Emil, I guess, is going back now, but he's getting more and more units out. He's uh, going for the relics. And I don't think Stark's a chance of coming back here. He's so far behind. He's so far behind in the military units. He's got a lot of resources and uh, now no food. Uh, yet. He's creating elite world riders but losing them immediately. And this TC is going to go down, even though there's 15 villagers inside. And yeah, of course, Emil's. Uh, Voters here are happy to kill, and Stark uh, saying, I hey, screw it, GG. Yes, pretty much. MBL boom faster than Stark. Stark with the fake attack here didn't really go through, and MBL winning the third game. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in game number four, and